It's been a good afternoon for uh, Indo-Australia relationship because another big buy, another Aussie uh, being picked up for a whopping sum. Mitchell Stark becomes the most expensive player in IPL history. Uh, Joy Bharacharya and Harsha Bogle in the house. Uh, we expected him to go big. But how much is the team budget for a big bash team? I much don't... less. I think Stark could buy the league. No, he, could Stark, buy, he, could, he could buy a team budget at, definitely. At least a team, yeah. Team. Stark and Cummins, they could take. Uh, from what is left from buying their uh, beach facing property, <laughs> you could buy the beach, <coughs> buy the sea. I mean, every time you think you've seen what there is to see, you see something else. Did we think 24 crores? 0.75, yeah. 24, okay, 25 out of 105, right? That's. About 23-24% of your budget on one player. Are we reaching the Messi, Mbappe kind of thing where one player... Not only that, that one player, Messi can stay on the pitch for 90 minutes. And Stark can bowl four overs. Four overs? He, he can bowl 20% of your overs. capacity. He can bowl only 20%. So think of Messi being allowed on the pitch for 20% of the time. I've just been told it's 13,000 rupees per ball. If he bowls all four, all fourteen matches, all four overs, it was worth being the runaway bride all these years. Yeah, you know. At what point does it become an ego thing? Twenty four point seven five. What we said right at the beginning was a lot of money chasing very few players. Stark and Cummins go into the main auction. Total budget hundred and five crores. Nobody, believe me, nobody is paying 25% of their budget on one player. Nobody. Yep. If at all they are, they are spending it on Rohit, on Virat, on Bumrah, on Sky, on maybe on Shubman, on that category of player. Yeah. They are not spending it on, an, on a fast bowler who is going to give you four overs from overseas fast bowler is going to give you four overs. Mm. So, too much money chasing too few people. I won't be surprised at all at the way it's going. If you have a 150 crore budget next year. Major Stark, uh, my memory takes me back to 2015. Oh, well, your memory goes that far? That far. So, thoda bahut yaad rata hoongi. Phir notes bana lata Sorry, sorry, wrong, wrong, wrong. Thoda bahut, sir. <laughs> Lekna padata hai, bhool jata hoong. Uh, 2015, I think he came into the IPL in the second half. Uh, of the seven that RCB played after his return, they won six. And I think in those seven matches, he picked up 20 wickets. So, uh, there is reason to back him, but this much? Yeah, but he's also come, been the highest priced player for KKR, not come to KKR, not arrived in camp. He has a history of not playing and he has a history of breaking down. Sometimes he has a history of prioritising Australia cricket over his and I don't blame him. It's the way he looks at it. Yeah. The question is that, as we have been discussing before, that he has reached out, if not himself directly. Feelers have been sent to all the teams saying that he is definitely committed to playing a full IP. Yeah. That's one message that went to all the 10 teams. Yeah. I'm sure of that. Yeah. But the thing about it is still, you're talking about your one breakdown away from losing 25% of your effective budget. Yeah. And last year, if we were talking, looking at KKR and saying that, look, you paid 20 crores for Lockie and Shardul and it is way too much money, you have to look at anything beyond 18, 19 crores and say, uh, is this a bit much? And look, I'm telling you one thing. There is something called an auction fever. You sit on that table, it's out there, your head is up, your hand is up and it's happened to a lot of teams. I mean, you watch, go back yeah. and look at psychological, just look at Bangalore and SRH bidding against each other. Mm. And you see the look in their eyes and at some point, at some place, logic somewhere stops at a particular place. It's like a casino. But, but like it is. A casino, you it is. You, feel, you feel as if you're all powerful, this is what you can do. And at that point, you're not thinking of what is remaining. Yeah. You're thinking of, I want this player. I want to win this battle between us. The other, the yes. other reason we are seeing these bids is the amount of money each franchise is getting. I know there's a purse, but earlier you wondered, should I spend the entire purse? Because right. what I saved on the purse was money I could spend. Yep. Today, thanks to Star and Geo, you are 300, 350 crores plus. Yes. So you have absolutely no need yeah. to save on your purse. Yeah. So they'll say, okay, I've got, I've got this money. You know, someone's giving me pocket money. Why should I save it? Yeah. Yeah. So, and that is why the bidding is going higher and higher. The more the rights money goes higher and higher, 
the more the, the, the players will get. So Stark and Cummins are reaping the benefit of Star and Geo. At some point, though, I suppose they will, they will look line. at upping the purse as well. And so the, the, the windfall of uh, the television revenue perhaps uh, should be shared more with players. But that's a separate argument. Yeah, so, that's so, a separate what, so what do you think Bumra is thinking? What do you think uh, Surya Kumar Yadav is thinking? Saying, yeah, my league, in my country. We shouldn't be thinking like that because we are, a free, we are an open economy, we are a free country. Yeah. But somewhere they're going to think, were we, were we better off not being in the main auction? Mm. Let's talk about this from a KKR fan point of view. Yes. Uh, money aside, how big a buy is Mitchell Stark for KKR? Does, does the squad now suddenly look very different? A lot more settled? Is Treyas a year a happier captain? Because now he's got a prime weapon in Mitchell Stark uh, to join Andre Russell, Sunil Naren. They still do need uh, a couple of bowlers though, but the Mitchell Stark impact on this KKR squad. I think it's a huge impact because what KKR already had was KKR has an excellent spin attack. It has an excellent spin attack. Now, the kind of overs Stark bowls, if he bowls two overs up front for them, two overs at a death for them, they bowl the spinners in the middle. You have a potent weapon up front immediately. And remember, Varun Chakravarti is somebody who can bowl up front as well. Yep. So, think of Stark and Chakravarti operating because the way Stark bowls, if he relies so much in swing, it doesn't really matter how fast or slow the pitch is. He gets his movement in the air. Up front, he's going to swing it back and look dangerous. This is a, now a dangerous bowling attack. There's no doubt about that at all. And if they show up and they manage to get some consistency of batting, maybe one more international batsman gets some consistency of batting from their top order, this is a dangerous side. There's uh, no doubt about yeah. that. Take the money aside for now. Okay, don't judge Stark only by the money that he's got, though you would eventually. Yeah. But when you buy an expensive watch, you buy an expensive watch. Yeah. But let's put the money aside. If you're going to play on slow tracks in Kolkata, who is the one bowler, as Joy just said, and Joy drops these pearls in passing, who's independent of the surface. Either you're so quick, it doesn't matter, or you're bowling full, you're bowling your swinging yorkers that make you independent of the surface. That is what makes Stark such a big bowler. A Cummins is a big back of a length, hit yeah. the deck bowler, who's now getting better and better. Yeah. But a Stark is swing bowler, bowling full at pace. Yeah. So to that extent, yes, they can continue to play, they can plead with CAB to give them or the groundsman to give them the wickets they want. But now they've got Stark. I'm very impressed with both Harshit Rana, Vaibhav Arora. One, one of those two, Russell. Yeah. Maybe there'll be one more quick somewhere. Yeah. But they've got Varun Chakravarti, Sunil Narayan, Suya Sharma. Yeah. So that bowling attack is now looking good. Batting was never a problem. The no. top six were looking very good anyway. Yeah. So it, it might say 24%. Yeah. But overall, when you say, okay, everyone's got 105. Yeah. Now let me see what my team is looking. It's looking far better now. Mm. Well, it started with the MI versus DC. Uh, KKR came in when the bid was at about 9.8 CR. And after that, they just kept going for it. And it looked like it was Gautam Gambhir's call. He just wanted Mitchell Stark somehow. No, see, Gautam exactly understands the whole business of service and all. So, by now, Gautam is already planning for the kind of pitches you get. Yeah. Okay, And he knows that. So, yeah, if you leave all that aside, was he overpaid? As Harsha says, yes, he was. Yeah. Okay. But will he give them value? He'll give them fantastic value. And what KKR would be turning around and telling all everybody else is, yeah. you know what, I'm going to get three really good bargain basement picks when uh, you know players are going to come returned. Yeah. And for 50 lakhs, one crore I'll pick up. Mm. Let's face it, for, for one crore, they've put two very important pieces back for themselves. Yeah. They put in uh, Chetan Sakarya. Now, what does Chetan again do? Chetan uh, takes space off the ball. Again, both swing up front. Yeah. Okay, he, And he was very clear. Uh, if you notice, Gautam was very clear of the kind of bowler he wanted. And KS Bharat, because they needed an Indian keeper, because otherwise you had to play, play Gurbaz, Gurbaz all the time. Now they're freed of playing Gurbaz. I mean, Bharat may not be the batsman that Gurbaz is, but at least they can change their side around and it gives them a little bit more flexibility. Yes, KS Bharat, Chetan Sakarya, Sakarya both bought for 50 lakhs each. Uh, but among the other big buys was uh, Alzari Joseph. There was a crazy fight uh, between uh, the Lucknow Super Giants and the Royal Challengers Bangalore. And I suppose RCB missing out on Cummins, um, but settled for Alzari Joseph for almost half the price. Can you imagine if RCB was stuck with Stark at 20 crores? <laughs> or Cummins, sorry, not Stark, Cummins at 20 crores. They would have had no money left to buy anybody else. Yep. But the moment they lost Cummins, I think they realized we are not going to get Stark. Yeah. So there's no point waiting to see what is left after Stark. 
So we are not going to get stuck. Very pragmatic thinking at that point. Yep. So now let's see who we can get. Yep. Alzari Joseph, we talk about auction dynamics. This is auction dynamics. Being in the right place at the right time in the imagination of a particular team which is saying, oops, what if I don't get anybody? Who's in front of me? Alzari Joseph. Lelo. 11 crores for Alzari Joseph. Half, yeah. We talk about 20 crores being a lot for Pat Cummins and 24 being a lot for Stark. Is Alzari Joseph at 11 an equal buy? Because I think Alzari, Al Al and actually to be fair, he's a good bowler, but he's going through a he's going through a bad patch at the moment. Yep. But at eleven crores, wow, mm. very good for him. And I hope he does well for uh, because he's playing on a track that's not doing him any favors. Mm. A that B is that he doesn't a that B is that he doesn't really enjoy the new ball of bowling at the death. He's primarily again a very Lockie Ferguson kind of know, you know enforcer yes. in the middle. And if you see when Gujarat used him, that's the role they used him in, coming in second, first mm. change. Mm. And so that's my point, that a fast bowler coming in first change is not bad. But what was our problem with Lockie Ferguson? It wasn't that Lockie Ferguson wasn't a good bowler. It was that 10, are you going to spend 10 crores for somebody who does that role and you may not use it all the time. Yep. And I think now they're stuck with the money they paid with him, RCB has to use Alzari Joseph. Mm. But he's not primarily the kind of bowler you give the new ball to. True. What, what else have uh, Bangalore done so far in this auction? Alsari Joseph at 11.5 crores for RCB. That's the only buy uh, they've, they've had. Uh, there's still a fair bit of work to be done and yeah, Siraj, they don't have too much money left. No, Siraj Topli, Alzari, Akash, Deep, Vishak, Vijay Kumar. That's their pace bowling. That's looking okay actually now. That's their pace bowling. Uh, who's, who's, who's their spin? That's where they need to go next. Yeah. And they got, got 11 point. They 11 got Karan Sharma, Mayank Dagar. Karan Sharma, Mayank Dagar, Glenn Maxwell. Glenn Maxwell. A bit of Will Jacks if he plays, if he makes the 11. Yeah, I think so. so that's Indian, where they had Indian, Indian, spinner. Indian spinner, definitely. Maipal Lomroor. Yeah, a bit, but you know, they'll want somebody to replace Shavas. See what happens when you're going to a Kolkata or you're going to a Chennai. You want to carry that extra spinner with you. So definitely looking at Indian spinners. Uh, uh, this one's younger brother. Safraz's is younger brother, Mishan. Mushir. Mushir Khan. Sorry, Mushir Khan. Yeah. Mushir Khan again, somebody. So all those players. Look, I expect surprising amount of money to be placed on Indian uncapped. Mm. The reason is because they're all potential. And all these IPL teams are stacked with really good coaches and analysts. Yep. And they reckon they get a guy at the right age, 18, 19, work with him. They can do magic. And so that's one thing you'll see. A, mm. lot, of, a lot of you must be thinking, what's this guy doing with his phone? I was trying to look for who has how much money left mm. and of course you're, you, there's never a time when you're not getting an insurance <laughs> call or a credit card call. 11.75 <laughs> CR left uh, for us. Well, let's take a look at uh, that graphic which tells you exactly how much money is left. Uh, we're pretty much at well, approaching the halfway mark uh, in this auction. That's where we stand. Hyderabad at 3.6 uh, they should be happy. KKR still have um, a possible 9 slots to fill but they have only 6.95 left. Um, Are you allowed to invest remaining purse in the stock market? <laughs> I suppose so. Stokma, Gujarat. Gujarat. Who are Gujarat waiting for? Gujarat is... There's a lot of good fast bowlers coming in the later lots. A lot of good fast bowlers coming. They thought that there was a too much of a price to pay. At, they walked out of... They went very hard, if, if you remember, for uh, Stark. Yep. And I think they could reap... The big, big value is now in the Indian uncapped also. Fast bowlers in Indian uncapped are two. I don't see, as we, we had discussed before, that international spinners will don't go well in India. No. So that didn't happen exactly as we thought. No, let's but look fast at bowlers, Indian uncapped. Let's, let's look at what's spinners. left now for Gujarat. Let's look at what's left. Well, they, they got Omesh Jadav for yes. uh, 5.8 CR. Let's, let's bring up uh, the Gujarat called, uh, squad yeah. graphic. To take a look at what they have, uh, Omar Zai picked up for 50. Umesh Yadav was the second one they bought for 5.8. In the Syed Mushtaq Ali this year, he's picked up 15 wickets in six matches uh, at an economy of 8.52. Would those numbers have encouraged Gujarat to go for Umesh Yadav or was it Ashish was, Nehra saying go for him? Go for him. I mean, Ashish Nehra knows Umesh very well. He knows that Shami is, you know, he, they need, need to have a backup for Shami. Umesh, they know what Umesh can do. Umesh is not a death-overs bowler. Umesh will bowl three at the front, maybe one in the middle somewhere. 
they're going to use him like that. They are very clear because see the one thing they can do which no other team can does does efficiently. Maybe KKR to a certain extent is they can bowl spinners at the death, yeah. which KKR does very effectively. And uh, they mm. with with Noor and Rashid, you can save yeah. two three overs from them at the death as well. So that's their game plan. They, as I said, they will be sitting and saying among these Indian kids, is there a future Shobhman here? Is yeah. there somebody here? And they can literally. They have the ability to outbid anyone in this business. And there's Mohit Sharma as well who can bowl at the yeah. death. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but yes. who's their who's their big fast bowler? They have Josh Little. Yep. They have Shami, who was fantastic for them. So if you look down, where where are we no, looking? They need looking, one big fast okay, bowler. We're looking Josh Little, Vijay Umesh Yadav, Mohit Sharma, uh, Mohammad Shami. I still think they need one overseas fast bowler. What's their what's their overseas contingent now? Miller will play, Rashid will play, Noor will play. So maybe Umar Zai will slip in as that as that number six, play the Hardik role yeah. as the overseas bowler. I don't think he's still a four overs bowler. Yeah. To be honest. But they can get Vijay Shankar to bowl. As uh, we've been hearing about that yeah. for a few years. Now. <laughs> so other than getting Imam Ulhaq out with his first ball in the 2019 World Cup, yeah. for which he will always be remembered after Vuvi went off. I don't think there's too much there. They've tried bowling yeah. uh, Vijay yeah. Shankar. Yeah. He, I think he bowled a little bit in Vijay Hazare. Yeah. But uh, they, I think they'll need one more. They've, they've got the money. There's a lot of fast bowlers to come still. There was a lot one, of good international fast bowlers. There was one man that they released. Gujarat Titans released Shiva Mavi and RCB LSG both wanted uh, Shiva Mavi. And they wanted him too. They wanted him to, yes. I think LSG bid for him for too. For a bit, yes. And then he went to uh, the Lucknow Super Giants for 6.4 CR and he ended up being uh, the first buy for KL Rahul's Lucknow Super Giants. Shivam, Mavi a 6.4? See, more on potential Shivam, and pedigree? Shivam is an intriguing prospect. Every fast bowling coach that I speak to, every coach I speak to is very high on him. They all rate him. Somehow, if you notice, he's played for India as well. And whatever it is... Actually, he did well in the first game, yeah, he played for India. Yeah. So, he's always there, very, very injury prone and one of those things a lot of people say that with that action of his, it may not, it may be something that he has to really monitor throughout. Again, remember, he's a local boy. Yeah. For Shivam Mavi, for LSG, he's a local boy, gets him some sort of a connect and uh, I mean, it's a very good price he's got. I say there are lots of other good fast bowlers, yeah. Indian fast bowlers still left. Yeah. I think he's got a good price for himself. So, if Mohsin is fit yeah. and Mavi is fit yeah. and both play, then it takes a bit of pressure off. Then you can play Wood, Stoinis, De Kock and Puran. Yeah, and that's a fantastic. Right? So then what happens? De Kock, Stoinis, Wood, Puran. You've got the fast bowling of Wood, Mohsin and Mavi. You've got the spin of Krunal Pandya and... Uh, Bishra? No, Krunal Pandya and Bishnoi. Bishnoi. And Bishnoi. That's a fine side al already. And then you've got batting in Padikkal, in Rahul, in Huda, Huda so, and Badoni. Well. And Not Badoni, Badoni yeah. on a day when you're playing absolute 130, 140 game, Krishnapa Gautam can come in as the, or Amit Mishra can come in as an impact sub. So it's it's actually looking a pretty good side already. They didn't have a lot to do. What else What else do you think they're looking at now? I, I thought backups. they were looking at two two quicks. That's what I got in my notes. That got they were looking for two quicks. So maybe they'll look at a value overseas quick in case Wood, wood yeah. breaks down. They need their extra pace. They've yeah. got Naveen Ulak. Yeah, but uh, they, they, they might because they released Chamira, right? Last yes. Year. They released Chamira. They'll probably look for another fast bowler. Mm -hmm. Another international fast bowler to keep in the squad, the insurance is a squad. Yeah. There was just one question mark, and I suppose Shiva Mavi fits in right there. Shiva Mavi, also, you, yeah. if, if you see what this team is about, look at the number of all-rounders they play. They play Huda, okay? Stoinis mm -hmm. can bowl, Huda can bowl. You, you've got Shiva Mavi can bat. Yeah. So they have three, yeah. four players who can bat and bowl. Bat and bowl. Wood, yeah. Wood can swing his bat at the end. Yeah. By the way, Badoni bowls uh, a bit. Krunal Pandya, what am I Trunal saying? Pandya. Yeah. I think Badoni bowls a bit, you know. Yeah. I've seen suddenly he pops up in the bowling figures. Austin. He's got a couple of wickets here. He's got a wicket there. Yeah. So. so this is very much, it's so interesting. This is also very much a Gautam Gambi side. Lots of guys yeah. who can bat and bowl. A strong top order. Couple of tearaway fast bowlers, very, very. That, yes. they, they bought very well. Yep. We keep talking about the mini auction versus the large auction, but nothing can take away from the fact that your team is made in the large auction. Yeah. yeah. And once your team is made in the large auction, your need in the mini auctions becomes less. Like with LSG, they built a good side. They don't need a lot in the chota auction. Would have had a lot of inputs from Gautam Gambhir on the retentions clearly before he would have moved on, right? Might have been, might have been, but the but the retentions are not rocket science. 
Yeah. Who would you release there? I mean, I think they did well. Yeah. Yeah. They were smart enough. Look, see, they released Sam Sunatkar, Manan Vora, Karun Nair, and traded and out they were Avesh first for Padikal. choice 11 players anyway. And it, uh, Avesh for Padikal, as he said, it, is a yeah, fantastic yeah. trade for both teams. Yep, Dilshan Madhushanka goes to uh, the Mumbai Indians. They like that uh, that left arm variety, but they went as far as 4.8 CR uh, for Dilshan Madhushanka. It's 4.6, in fact, not 4.8. Correction. Uh, pretty good numbers as well to back it up in that World Cup. Uh, not a bad economy. Uh, he'll do well in that MI side. Look, Harsha will say they knew exactly what they. Those were the two names they wanted. They got the two names they wanted. Dilshan and You've Kutze. got Berendorf who'll bowl at the top. Madhushanka can bowl both at the top and at the end. Yeah. Kudzia will bowl in between. Yeah. So you got you'll pick only two of those three. You won't pick all three. You pick yeah. two of those three. Yeah. Then you got Pandya and you've got uh, Bumra with Madwal or uh, depending on the surface, Madwal or uh, Piyush Chawla as an impact sub. What else is missing in this this MI lineup? Spinner. Yeah. Indian spinner backup. They've got Kumar Karthikeya and uh, Piyush. Piyush, Piyush Chawla. Chawla. That's it. They let go of Hrithik Shokin. Yes. Uh, he's still available. He will, will come up in the auction in just a bit. He so. will, but if you let him go, you're not going to... Uh, you obviously, don't see the... You're, you're you not the team value like to pick him. Other team you might don't see, see the value, value there. You don't yep. see value there. Yep. That's and that. And they will get Tilak Varma to start bowling a bowling little a bit, bit more well. and give you an over or two in between. <laughs> but I loved the way today, you know, mother and son were enjoying themselves bidding for Stark. Yeah. Because they knew, like, okay, we have the so much money here. Yeah. You know, only so far we can go. But look... If you look at it, they should be having smiles on their faces because, as Asha said, they got exactly what they thought they could get. And I think with Kotze, they think they've got him possibly about four or five crores cheaper than they thought they would. Yeah. yeah. Also, the expression on, on their faces when they were bidding for Dilshan and for Stark were very different. With Stark, they looked like they were just having a bit of fun. Yeah. Let's keep going. They knew they couldn't go up to 20 anyway. Yeah, yeah. But with Dilshan... With Kutze, look, no, with Kudze especially. Poker oh, yes. face, not an expression. As soon as it went down, ah, shh, yes. the flower bloomed. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dilchan is a good buy for, um, for the, the Mumbai Indians. Uh, Hardik Pandya will be a happy captain after those two buys. What about SRH? Uh, they got Jaidev Unarkar, I think, for a steal. Uh, just under 2 crores, 1.6 crores, in fact, it was uh, for Jaidev Unarkar, who's been um, toiling hard in domestic cricket. Uh, Harsha, what do you make of Jaidev for SRH? 1.6? I'm just going through that list. Bhuvneshwar, Umran Malik, Natrajan, Sanveer Singh is also an all-rounder, right? Uh, then Marco Janssen, Pat Cummins, Unatkat. They can build a play a team of fast bowlers. <laughs> anyway, they're done now, aren't they? Uh, for internationals, yeah. they're done. No, generally, I think... 14 and 8, so... I yeah. think they need an Indian spinner. They need but, an Indian Look, but look, they've got Shahbaz. They've He's got Washington. There. Okay, they, they so, think and they've got Markande. Right. So if you don't want to play Hasaranga, which I mean, there's, Sundar. Yeah, there's a lot of very, very good players, as we discussed last time, are not going to get a game. Yeah, there. even before uh, the auction started, there was not a number yeah. 10 side, were they? No, last auction, we were sitting out here and we felt that they were one of the two best pick teams in Did the main auction. this, the this main or this for them? No, no, main auctions, we, we thought I was the main up. auctions, we yeah, were up. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. thought they were a fantastic side. They did, yeah. they did, they had to try very hard to finish as low as they did. Yeah. yeah. And, one of those. And remember one thing, one of the reasons they finished so low was just tinkering with their batting order to make sure that their 10 crore investment got a good position. Hmm. So I hope they don't do any tinkering. And I, I don't say this. I think he deserves a place in the 11. He might, he might not in the, in the yeah. kind of services they play. But don't alter your side or your plans because you played 20 crores for a player or not. Yeah. If it works, if he works but, it, But that's going to happen fantastic. again, no, Joy? That's, my that's going to happen again now worry. because you you will want to play Head and Cummins and Makram is your captain and Klaassen is your keeper. So how do you fit Janssen, Phillips, Faruqi, Hasaranga? Yeah, Where do you exactly. fit Hasaranga? Yeah. Tricky one. Uh, when the keepers came in uh, during that second half of the auction, a couple of them went on unsold. Uh, Josh Inglis and Philip Salt. But then uh, Tristan Stubbs went to DC uh, for 50 lakhs. We all knew they'd, they'd want a keeper. And they got Tristan yeah, Stubbs for 50. But Stubbs over he, the others, he's is not he? much of a keeper here. Exactly. Wouldn't I've seen him take catches in the deep. If you wanted Stubbs in your side, just saying, he's like Glenn Phillips. He takes unbelievable catches in the deep. And there's this other guy in the big bash, Jordan Silk. These guys, just for a living, they take great catches in the yeah. deep. Yeah. So, I don't know how much of a keeper he is, but, but, they, but they've got him there nonetheless. 
but I still think looking at the composition of their side, they'll still have to go with Porel, no? Yeah. Can they I, go with Stubbs? I think they'll bring another keeper in. 100% percent they So Rishabh, Porel, Porel Stubbs and another fourth keeper. See, well, Rishabh not this year. Rishabh may not keep, Rishabh may not may not keep, keep this year. Look, Rishabh, See, yeah. See, my point is also that, that if you look at that, the big question I'm asking myself is that Stubbs, first thing is, Stubbs put his name in among the keepers. Stubbs could have easily gone Correct. in the bad batting he's category. A big, yeah, he's a big hitting batter, yeah. Yeah, so he must have said, you know, I think I have a better chance of getting picked if I'm among the keepers. So he's put his yeah. name there deliberately. Yep. See, remember one thing. If you can say that all-rounder, today, would, had Stark come first, would Cummings have gone for 21? You know, you don't, you really don't know these dynamics and how they yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think a large part of it is also where you're going. And I can promise you, uh, I, I'm quite sure one of Salt or English will be called back at some point. So if you look at that side, can Stubbs make the 11? No. If, you, if you pull no. up the Delhi side again, yeah. let's see if Stubbs can actually make the 11. Out of the overseas players they have, Warner walks in, Marsh walks in, Brook will play now. Because they need that, uh, they need that top order player. Because they only have uh, really know. Prithvi Shaw uh, and Yash Dhul yeah. as their top order Indian players. So uh, Brook, Marsh, Warner. If all of them have to play, do you want fast. still want a fast bowler? Yep. So where does, if Stubbs doesn't get a game, they have to play Abhishek Porel at six uh, or at seven, Akshar at six. They did come in for Umesh Yadav. Uh, DC did, but then. Well, he got sold to GT for 5.8. So, so. I, I think they'll pick up in a domestic player. They will pick up a domestic bowler, but keeper is the question it's, that... It's going to be a problem for them this year. I guess next year they'll get Pant to keep. Unless, unless we don't know what the doctors are saying. Are the doctors saying Pant can keep wickets this year? We don't know that yet. Yeah. From what I, I'm hearing, that he'll play, but it's not easy to keep wickets. They've got right. Aksar and Kuldeep. Do you think they need a backup spinner there? Lalit Yadav's there. Yadav's so... Do they have enough? They will pick up again. Pick I'm another saying, spinner, there's sir. another in Indian uncapped. There'll be en enough spinners who will go. There's no doubt about it. There are lots of our choices there. Hmm. There's yeah. one uncapped player who's going to get a jackpot. Always happens. We saw it in the WPL as well. Two women got big paydays. Yeah. One, one or two uncapped players are going to have a huge day. Well, there were three teams that didn't do anything in that second half of the auction. Up first, uh, let's take a look at uh, uh, Punjab. Uh, I don't have any more Preeti Zinta jokes or Punjab Kings jokes. So. Uh, rest assured on that one. Let's take a look at uh, their I'm so squad happy graphic. He said, "Rest assured." As this, of now, this is not disease. be rest assured. This is disease going around. People think be rest assured. You're either you're, you are. I heard that you from you. So yeah, rest assured. Like uh, uh, saying at the rate of in the evening. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Wokes uh, was brought in uh, much earlier in the day. Harshal Patel was as well. Uh, Punjab, uh, as I said, even before the auction, they looked like an okay side. They seem to have a lot of bases covered, Joy. Uh, no, they are looking for an Indian bat. Uh, correct. They're looking for an Indian bat. Prop Simran hit 100 last season. Jitesh Sharma is there as well. So maybe, I, maybe a Manish, Manish see, Pandey. Yeah, Tarvate, all. all of these people, I think somewhere they're looking for another Indian bat because they can't afford to... Look, let's look at again their composition because it's always decided. They'll play Besto, definitely. Yeah. They'll Livingston. play Karan. Besto, Living Livingston, Karan and either Rabada or uh, Ellis. Yeah. yeah, so they're sorted. Their four are sorted. The moment those four play, you, you just need more from the Indians. That means... Obviously, Chahar, Arshdeep, Harshal, that's three, four and three, seven. Prabh Simran, Jitesh, uh, Shikhar. Yeah. And one more batter. Yeah, somewhere. that's where. Somewhere, I think they need one more batter. Mm. No, Rahul Chahar will definitely play as well. Yeah. Did you count, you count it, Chahar. Yeah, yeah. You count it. And they've got 13.15 left. That should be enough for them to get an Indian batter. Yeah, I think they've got their eyes on somebody. Or they'll call back a Manish or somebody. But I don't think Manish, because Manish, they've... Uh, I think KKR, uh, he had, Bayliss had seen Manish for a while. Yeah. And he's been around. There's, there's no surprise. You know what you're going to yeah, get. You know what you're going to get. With Manish. You know what your upside is. As I said, I keep saying, Shikhar hasn't played since the last IPL. He cannot afford, he's a, he's, he's a fabulous player, yeah. but he cannot afford not to, to not have a good IPL. Mm. Let's now move to uh, the Yellow Brigade. The Chennai Super Kings have also been rather quiet uh, in this auction. Uh, we did talk a, b a lot about them to figure what MS Dhoni is thinking. What are the backups they have? Are they looking at uh, getting someone who can be their future captain? Let's take a look at their squad as it is uh, for now. Uh, what are the CSK looking like? They've uh, bought three players. Uh, Shardul Thakur uh, was the highest wicket taker when they won the IPL twice. So... They believed in him and they backed him. They got him in Rachin Ravindra and Darren Mitchell as well. A couple of Kiwis coming in. Uh, Chennai looking good, Harsha? 
Well, they always were. So I think Daryl Mitchell is the replacement for uh, Ambati Raidu. Ambati Raidu. And therefore, they needed an Indian as a replacement. So Shardul Thakur is a replacement for Pati Rana. My only concern as I look at this is who's bowling at the death for them. Last time, they also they were expensive at the death, so they had to depend on Pati Rana bowling at the death. Yeah. Who's their death bowler now? Is Chahar going to bowl at the death? Is Shardul going to bowl at the death? Shardul so, is a better bet than Tushar Deshpande? Or is Tushar Deshpande going to bowl at the death? They depended a lot on Pati Rana. Yeah. So if Pati Rana is not going to make your eleven. Because you've picked Mitchell, then they might have an issue with the death bowling. Hmm. Unless Tikshana can come back and bowl at the death for them. And they got Shardul uh, at a not very expensive... Uh, at a good buy. No, I think those two, Rachin Ravind and Shardul, were excellent price. I yeah. think Mitchell, they have the habit of overpaying for one player. I thought Mitchell was, you know, 14 crores for 14 Mitchell. Yeah, was a bit, seemed yeah. a bit much, given that they got Conway for a steal for a crore. It's just a bit much. But look, again, in the scheme of things, you look at it and do, did they have the purse and ability to absorb it? They did. They probably, all these three things, the one thing they have made sure is he, they all fit in perfectly into their culture. They'll yeah. walk in to the dressing room and everything. Shardul's already been there for a while. Yeah. Rachin Ravindra and Daryl Mitchell will not, they'll not spend a day adjusting to the Chennai dressing room. Is Shardul more a pick for, the, for Chepak? Because you've got Chahar, Shardul, Mukesh. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Is he is he a better fit for for uh, the home obviously venue? obviously any pitch where the ball is look again you look at it that that that's good in KKR that's good in Kolkata also you'll get a decent pitch in Kolkata uh, Lucknow and Delhi also the kind of pitches where Shardul will be very very useful so look if he's going to be able to be effective in your home pitch and three four other pitches he always gives you value it's just that again what price have they got him at four. Exactly. Yeah. So somebody was yeah. paying 10 crores for him, you've got him at 4, yeah. you're a perfect buy. Had he crossed 6 or 7, I'm not sure they would have gone for him that no, hard. They won't have. One more team uh, that, that got the first player of the day right up uh, top, they got Roman Powell. Uh, there was a huge bidding war between uh, RR and KKR for Roman Powell. They got him for 7.4 uh, CR. Uh, and that's what it looks like. That's, uh, they spent more than half their available purse, Arsha. Now they have only uh, 7.1 left. But look at this team now. Butler, Hetmeyer, Bolt, Powell. Right? You're doing very well with those four overseas players. Open with Butler and Jaiswal. You've got... Uh, th there was a number three somewhere. Yeah, they they uh, gave away... Particle, Sanju Samson? Particle, yeah. Sa Sanju Samson, three. Powell, four. Hetmeyer, five. And Rian Parag, six. Rian Parag will bowl a bit. Robin Powell will bowl a bit. And then you come down to an all... Uh, you uh, uh, come down to Trent Bolt, Ashwin, Chehel, Kuldeep Sen, Avesh Khan. It's already a very good side. Yes, Prasid Krishna has an option as well, but yeah, yeah, Avesh Khan looks uh, more. So like between Prasid Kuldeep and Avesh, they'll play two. Yeah. If required, they've got Sandeep Sharma as well. Yeah. They could play Dhruv Jurel as a uh, as an impact sub to come in and bat. So they'll probably need backups to these players now. They've got a very good twelve or thirteen. They'll just need backups. In case there's injury. Yeah. So, they'll, you, uh, I think you'll find a backup for Trent Bolt at some point. Yeah. There'll be one more Indian fast bowler and one more Indian batter. Mm. Uh, Ryan Parag's been bowling a fair bit as well. No, no, and batting. He's had yeah. seven or eight consecutive... Top scorer in the S match. Seven, eight consecutive 50s in uh, S match. And see, the other thing about it is that they had a monster season in 22. Yeah. They couldn't make it. They couldn't win it. Yeah. They reached the finals. 23, they fell off because Butler just didn't give yeah. them anything. So, they, one of the things that they will look at addressing is they are still very Butler and Samson centric. Yeah. Jaiswal needs to pick up the, this thing. But the way I've seen Jaiswal batting in the, in the international. Yeah, if oh. Jaiswal now needs to, if Jaiswal now elevates himself to the level they think he's at yeah. and they, they really have faith in him, then this is a solid outfit. Yes, uh, looking good. Uh, RR in pink. Uh, now let's uh, revise uh, the top buys of uh, this auction, this mini auction so far. Uh, Stark and Cummins, uh, the two most expensive buys. Uh, Alzari Joseph went for 11.5. Harshal Patel, big payday for him as well. Darren Mitchell, a bit of a shocker from CSK, 14 CR. They know better, I suppose. Uh, Roman Powell, the first buy of the day, 7.4. Uh, Travis Hall after that World Cup, 6.8. Shiva Mavi, a bit of a surprise, Harsha, for you, uh, 6.4. Yeah, I, I, I would have looked at Shiva Mavi and said about 3, 3.5. Yeah. But good for him, as I said. If a young kid gets money, good for him. Which I only hope they don't get under pressure with the price tag. Yeah. So. Which of these has been the most exciting for you? I, I'll go with Jural Kodze. 
But there was a surprise. Five. For me, the biggest surprise was Hasaranga. I mean, at whatever price, you get 1.5 crore. And that's what I told, said about flexibility. I mean, teams are just not being flexible. But, you know, the other thing is, one of the things that you, when you look at a, yeah. somebody like a Daryl Mitchell, and I'll, let me just explain what my thought process on this is. What happens is that uh, very often, you're told by, say, somebody like a Dhoni or somebody who says that, you know, I want those four players. Okay. And you know this is the amount of money you have in your pocket purse. So now the point is that if I've got two players really cheap, even if I pay 15 lakhs, uh, 15 crores and I get, or 14 crores and I get a Darren Mitchell, mm -hmm. as long as my budget, these things, I can go back and tell the captain, hey, look, I got you all these three players. Kis ko kitna mela kya farak padta? As long as you got what you wanted. Yeah. Ye jhola hai, this is the amount of money you gave me, you wanted, these are your first choice players, yeah. I delivered you all of them. So now think of it from that point of view rather than thinking whether Daryl Mitchell's price was right uh, or not. Yeah. It's about somebody giving you a budget to say, these are my six first choice players, these are my five second choice players. Yeah. And you coming back and saying, hey, you know what, with this money, doesn't, don't ask me whether this player is more or this player is less. Within this, I've delivered you this. Also, what will now happen is Daryl Mitchell, we talked about real estate prices in Sydney. <laughs> Daryl Mitchell will buy a house in Mount Maunganui which is called their uh, IPL drive. IPL drive. <laughs> IPL drive. In Mount Monganui. Because I asked somebody once when we were there last time. I said, wow, man, looks good. And one of the players said, yeah, you get an IPL contract, you go, you buy a house there. Sir, but <laughs> not as expensive as your new house in Low Perel, sir. <laughs> nicely played, <laughs> nicely slipped in. <laughs> sir, let's, sir. Let's, let's focus on Mitchell for this. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Uh, These are the stark realities. <laughs> ah. Dar, are, dil, are, are we going back there? No, don't no, get no, him started mera, again. My heart is Mitchell. Ki hai, sir, ye <laughs> we often say our... Sorry. We often say our franchise is happy with the players they've got. Our players are happy with the franchise that they have got. Shardul Thakur will be among the happiest people. I, not in terms of the price tag. He'll say, yeah, I didn't get that much. But he'll be very happy to go back to CSK. Yeah, who doesn't want to play for CSK? MICSK are the two sides that perhaps any player would want to play for. Actually, interesting. CSK, definitely. MI, sometimes, it requires a particular type of player. Because MI is, playing for MI is a lot about taking pressure. Yeah. Because of the, you know, the public, you know, yeah. the team, the kind of institutional history it has. So, they take a lot of pressure. If you can't absorb pressure, it's very difficult to play in MI. Yep. Uh, that way, CSK is a more relaxed atmosphere. So, I think the toughest gig to play for, though it's very extremely rewarding, but also difficult yeah. is MI. I, and, you know, uh, the I world... I saw that yeah. in uh, 21. We were in the bubble in 21. But we were also part of the CSK bubble. And it was like one family, one party was making uh, um, amras for everybody. So, one day I looked and said, what party, amras? Next day, in my room, two, uh, two or three katori, the ambras are delivered. You go in the morning, everyone is sitting around like, you know, uh, they're, they're at a family table. And I looked at that and I said, does this look like a cricket team? <laughs> and that, that is how it was in CSK. Yeah, so, that's, a, that's what I'm saying. This is different. And I, I'm not saying the MI is good, this, anyone's better or worse. Yeah. But it's just a different kind. It requires a different kind of person to excel in that environment. And there's a 24-year-old, 10 years uh, younger than the average age of CSK, who's uh, been brought into the MSG University, Rachin Ravindra, could be a game-changing year for him. Even if he goes to another, another team in 25, these two months could change him as a player. Currently, I think he'll start off as an understudy to Moin Ali. Okay. But he also, he, he can do two roles. Should Conway get injured or should Conway have a problem, he, he can then move up and play Conway's role as the opener. Yep. And in many ways, he's Conway's bacha. They've had a similar coach. Both of them have made a home in, in a new country. So, I mean, in, in Rav, Conway's case, more starkly, Ravindra was uh, probably a very young kid when he went to yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. But he'll be very comfortable in, the, in that environment because of the Kiwi influence and just because of the place it is. So, he can either fill in for Moin or he can fill in for Conway. If he does play, what a sight it will be to see him come out to bat at the chair park with 50,000 CSK fans cheering him. That'll be quite a sight. No, absolutely. And I, I look, I think, I think Rajin is, for him, this is a finishing school and it's something that he'll always treasure. He'll probably hope that he remains one of those players who's actually gets retained or manages to come back here. 
But yeah, it's a fantastic. If if you ask him, probably the list of teams he'd like to play for, I suppose CSK might be very high on his list. Are CSK the kind of side that would look at the look at off the field uh, qualities as well? They would have looked at his attitude, his body language during the World Cup, what he says to the media, and things like that. Very one of those nice guys that perhaps fit in very well in the CSK setup. True, I I think it's in almost the reverse also. CSK have the ability to make anyone fit into their system, and mm. people who are difficult outside turned out to be you know teddy bears once they go into yeah. CSK. I mean, yeah. I remember. I mean, Dan, Dwayne Smith was not known to be one of the players who was the most you know loquacious or team like player, but in CSK he seemed to be fine. In that famous McCallum Dwayne Smith uh, combo, yeah. Oof. Well, you know, uh, at the start of the this coverage, uh, we had this little prediction game. I have to say, Joy. <laughs> Sorry. Single, please. Single on joy. Shot. You're going to get great cutaways. You're going to get the best expressions that you want. <laughs> you know, when you when you're supposed to break up relationships, you're supposed to say, "It's not me. Uh, it's not you. It's me." This time, I'm telling Sir, all. I'm telling all the IPL franchises, "It's not me. It's you." you. Sir, since you're talking about breakups on auction day, you should just say, "Air deal hai mushkil." That is what has happened uh, for you. Uh, once again, they've not reacted to one of those. Sir, you guys don't react to any of my bad jokes, sir. This is not fair. We don't react because we are stunned into incomprehending silence. <laughs> Terrible. Moving on. Because a deal is difficult. Eh, what am I saying, sir? What am I saying? No problem. Let's go. What happened in the game? Tell me. Uh, Joy. A deal is difficult, sir. What happened, sir? How? I mean, Stark. You underestimate the Stark. Hasan what ka what ka can happen to teams at the auction, sir? They can get carried away, sir. You've been there. I know I've been there. I was just hoping that they are, they get more logical and smarter as time goes on. Clearly, they haven't. I mean, Hasaranga. I don't mind. Hasaranga is not the top pick. I don't. He might be injured. He might not. But Hasaranga, at any circumstance, going for one point five is something that I still can't stomach. And so neither you actually, nor me went to actually the highest bid was twenty four point five seven five. Ah, so you only felt twenty <laughs> three. सर ये ट्रोल कर सकते हैं एक तो आई एम चले गए हम नहीं जा पाए It is. It is. It is what it is. Uh, Rinku Singh, I believe, is in the news. My producer was telling me something uh, before I got carried away by something else. Uh, Rinku Singh makes his uh, ODI debut today. Excellent. Mm. What a player! On auction day. What a player! A product of the IPL goes on. Four to or ODI. five years. Last year, a couple, a couple of times, I was doing a post game with him two years ago. I think I called him Ali Gadke Bhatsha. What are you doing? and he has become more than aligarh ke badshah just to see his game growing not just a finisher he came in in one of the games in the 8th or 9th over in the india south africa t20 the second t20 he came and he got a 70 it. yep and he got a 70 from there he's not just a slogger he builds innings he's got a fantastic first class average yep and to see the growth of rinku singh yep. and now your national selectors and i know that's a topic for another day The national selectors are going to have a very serious problem picking a team for the T20 World Cup. I totally agree. But can you leave out Rinku Singh no, from can't. the Indian team now? Yeah, he's done everything asked of you. Yep, there are so many more gears to Rinku Singh's uh, offerings, and I suppose uh, the players that will come up are uncapped players, so they need to only look at what's happening to Rinku Singh in the yeah, span of a couple of years. Just our producer reminded me of something which I just—it's so true that if you remember year one, the total purse was five million dollars. And the dollar was set to forty. Forty. Okay. That's twenty crores. So that's twenty crores. Okay. Today, fifteen years on, you have two players who've gone for more than the total purse for a complete team in two thousand eight. There is a school of thought which says even at a hundred crore purse, it's still very very low, given where the league's valuation is. It's going to be one fifty soon. Yeah. But even one fifty, like if you look at say where the NBA is. Say thirty-two to thirty-three percent of all the money that comes into the NBA league yeah. goes to players. By that level, I mean IPL is still players are hugely undervalued. Yeah. Let's say six. How, how much is the billion? Seven, eight thousand rupees. Eight thousand three hundred. Yeah. Eight thousand. Yeah. Crores. Yeah. And this is six billion. Yeah. So we're having forty-eight thousand crores. Yeah. Divide by five. It's over because of five years. 
कितने क्रोर बहुत ज्यादा नाइन थाउजेंड बहुत ज्यादा है सर नाइन थाउजेंड क्रोर पर ईयर आ रहे तो उसके साथ बढ़ना है एट थाउजेंड क्रोर सो एट थाउजेंड क्रोर मीन इवन इफ यू नो सो टोटली नाइन टोटली नाउ सो टोटली इफ यू से एट टू नाइन थाउजेंड क्रोर सो हंड्रेड फिफ्टी क्रोर इंटू टेन टीम्स इज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड क्रोर फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड ऑफ नाइन थाउजेंड ओके या दैट्स अबाउट वन सिक्स वन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन परसेंट स्टिल रूम स्टिल अ लॉट ऑफ रूम सो इजीली नो जॉय विद एट थाउजेंड आई लव इट आई लव इट टू इट्स इट्स व्हाट दे कॉल ना ओपीएम अदर पीपल्स मनी या आई लव टॉकिंग अबाउट और एसीएम या और समबडी एल्सेस मनी दैट्स सम है दैट्स फॉर ब्रॉडकास्ट फॉर ब्रॉडकास्ट इट्स एसीपी समबडी एल्सेस प्रॉब्लम नॉट माय प्रॉब्लम इन इंग्लिश समबडी एल्सेस प्रॉब्लम Well, there are uncapped players coming up um, in in just a bit uh, from Dubai. Rinku Singh is a story. There could be many, many more stories. Some of the names that have been highlighted all across: uh, Harvik Desai, keeper, batter; uh, Samir Rizvi from UP as well; uh, Atit Shet, Virat Singh. Lots of big names. Uh, Man, Meriwal has played a little bit. Yeah. Vivran Sharma has played a little bit. Yeah, both of them have been in IPL franchise. So has Virat. Yeah, but I think there's an opportunity here. Hmm. Is there is there a name that you you think will attract a lot of bids or look? Are we I just shooting in the dark. The, I think Samir Rizvi, for example, is one of the players who's really a lot of players have a lot lot of uh, teams have time for him. Yep. I think he definitely is one. Vivran Sharma is also another of the players that they look yep. at. Lukman Meriwala yep. again. See the point is again he's a bit more of a known quantity. Unknown quantities tend to go for more. So, yeah. yeah. Arshin Kulkarni again is another player that they're looking at, who they think is an all-rounder. You yeah. know, yeah. a lot of people say, "Yeah, kya? Itne paise kiske piche gaye? Yeah, what are these guys? What are they smoking? What are they thinking?" The level of scouting in the IPL is awesome. Yeah. There isn't a player today in India who can, who you can say, "I got overlooked." Yeah. No player in India is hidden today because the scouts are everywhere. They're holding trials. They're watching all the games. The level of scouting is fantastic, and that's what excites me most about WPL. Yeah. In that, the scouting in the WPL will take Indian women's cricket to the next level. Mm. Yeah. And one of the products of uh, that scouting, Tilak Verma, is batting at this stage uh, for India. So, so many of these stories where if you are playing well, there's someone out there who is watching you. Yeah, exactly. Rinku Singh, I mean, and not only that. Hardik, Bumrah, so many. They got scouted. Think of IPL teams, franchises, coaches, on all. Not just in terms of coaching, but also in terms of physios, looking after body trainers, dietitians. They are finishing schools for players. Yeah. And Joy serious scouts. Parthi was a scout. Yep. And Parthi's got a great eye for uh, for cricket. So oh, uh, if, if the level of scout is a John Ryder Parthi, we're talking Mumbai Indians, but there'll be others as well. If that is the level of your scout, can you imagine if they pick someone? It's bound to be quality. There are lakhs of people watching us across platforms uh, right now. And if there is a young, sixteen, seventeen year old cricketer who wants to get in, what's what's the best way to do so? Go to trials. There are trials held. I go to the trials. There's some players they go to the trials, three balls, four balls, five balls. Zaheer Khan is watching trials. Yeah. Mohit Sharma as well. After having played the IPL, went for right. the trials, got picked again. So, yeah. I've seen so many examples of that. You know, trials players coming through the trials process, players going out. I've seen a Kamran Khan. You know, who, yeah, bowled somebody to victory, Arya to victory against KKR in yeah. 2009. Yeah. And in the trials, in the KKR trials, in the nets in 2014. But do they get enough exposure at these trials, or just bat and over, bowl and over? See, it, they if you are if you have something special, they know that fast. So, for example, you know at that point in time when KKR picked up Ashish Dinda, okay, Ashok Dinda. Uh, sorry, uh, not Ashish. What's wrong with me? There are too many Ashishes in my life. Uh. Ashok Dinda. At that point, he was playing for Kalighat Club. Yeah. You know, Bengal. He played one match, got dropped. But if you see that kind of say. especially pace batting hit you know uh, hand eye coordination bat speed yeah. now that you don't need 20 balls to watch you can see two three hits and you know that guy's got it how many balls did wakar yunus take to see mukesh exactly literally three four balls mm-hmm. and then they said kal bulana bring him back But, and which is exactly what happened in imran saw wakar yeah also umran malik uh, someone saw him in yeah Kashmir umran and... yeah someone did see him he, he uh, uh Abdul Samad pleaded to get uh, get him into the SRH nets. They, suddenly they said, "Hang on, who's this kid making us jump?" Yeah, but he hasn't grown. Yeah, so he just bowls that yeah. one ball, comes running in, bowls back of a length. The odd yorker, odd back of a length. But I would have liked to have seen um- Umran Malik become follow in Bumrah's footsteps. 
Arsha, what do you say to a young uncapped player who, whose name is in that list and if he's watching us or his family is watching us right now, what would you say to that player? I'd say, I hope Zaheer Khan or someone talks to you rather than me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 from an attitude point of view. Because you may get a bid, you may go on so. Hey, just give everything in the trials and take what you get. Go to every trial that there is because every franchise conducts its own trials. Yeah. So go, go to all the trials and, and impress with your attitude as much as with your talent. Yeah. Impress with your attitude and hope that as the season goes along, you, you get invited to be a, tri a, a net bowler. Yeah. Where you then get to bowl to the best players or if you're a batter, you don't get. I mean, if you're a bowler, you've got a better chance. Yeah. Yeah. But, but just, just give it everything you've got and yeah, I mean, at the moment there's too many players who are coming to the IPL with dreams don't have a money dream. Just hope to play. Money will always follow if you play well. Play for the right reasons. Yeah, I've seen Pavan Negi come and bowl hours and hours the KKR nets. After that, you know the kind of he went for about what eight and a half crores after that. Yeah. Played for India. See, the one of the things is that if you are prepared for attitude, you know, if you go there and you stand out there, you will get a chance. And the one thing I also want to tell every parent is that the one great thing is, even when you come to state selections, you know, their biases and all. The point with IPL teams, and there being so many of them, because you don't need to be from a particular state to go to a trial to that particular state, is that the only reason they are paid money, the scouts, the coaches, is to find the best player possible. Yeah. So don't go back. If your kid comes back to you and says that I wasn't picked, I was better than the other three, it's probably not true. Yeah. Because... Merit is the only thing that decides because every IPL team knows that if I don't pick a player on merit, somebody else will. Yeah. So it's never as if, you know, I'm from this state, if you don't play for me, you can't play. And don't fall prey to agents who say, I'll give you this team. Mein dila dunga. Like agents used to say, I'll give you my passport. Dila dunga tumko. <laughs> and you never saw the passport. Yeah. Don't fall prey of agents who say, I'll give you this team. Mein dunga. If, if I had, you know, if I had cashed in all the opportunities of people coming to me and said, Nets me ball karwa do. You know, that much. You would have bought a team? Not a team, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> perhaps, yeah, I would have done better for myself. Well, uh, I can give you a passport dila sakta on all things Gyan, stories, insights, anecdotes, uh, but you've got to wait a bit before we come back at about 6.15. Um, until then, you can, uh, well, uh, stay glued to the Crick Buzz uh, text update section, which is uh, going to give you everything on the IPL auction. Uh, these two YZs will be back at 6.15. Jawabat Achari, Harsha Bogle, only on Crick Buzz. For now, enjoy the auction. We'll see you soon.